We're vlogging, honey. You want to say anything? No. Come on. What are you about to do? About to go run. Ryan is not a very good morning person. He likes to stay up late, but he doesn't like to um, wake up early in the morning. Do you, honey? <laughs> he don't even want to talk. Oh well, well here we go. Good morning everyone, um, today is Friday and it's the day before, I'm sorry, the, the uh, weekend of Father's Day and so today we're actually going to Ryan's parents, what is that light, oh it's our garage light, um, and so we're actually, and my lens is getting foggy, ooh, because it's kind of, you know, breezy and, um, not really breezy, what you call it, kind of misty, you know, in the morning when you feel misty, so pardon me, I don't have any makeup on, but I feel like the baby woke me up today, even though I'm still in my um, 17th, or I'm going into my 18th week, tomorrow, actually, um, no, today, ooh, I mean, time flies so fast when you're not keeping track, so I am 18 weeks today, and so I, um, I kind of notice sometimes a routine. I'll wake up like in the uh, middle of the night at four or at three, and then um, a lot of times at six thirty or seven o'clock, and then I can't really go to sleep. Like my eyes are closed, but my body is awake, um, and it's either the way I'm sleeping or my back. Uh, so this morning we woke up to work out, um, even though we worked out last night also, but. We're going to Ryan's parents in the evening and they live about an hour away um, and we wanted to make sure that we were not prolonging it because I know Ryan has to come back home and he's going to have to pack even though I told him to pack earlier um, but uh, so we're working out this morning and um, yeah that's what we're doing oh and by the way if you follow me on my snapchat which is Victoria Cole uh, my name spells a little bit differently, so make sure you look on um, my uh, channel. But if you saw these, um, I don't know if I'm showing you these right or not, but these are the plants that I snapped about, and all three of them were eating, eaten except the last one, and last night I was running, and I came home, and I'm like, and I said on Snapchat, they must be leaving that one on the rainy day, and yesterday some you know they finished it off so I'm hoping they don't start on these but it looks like they are starting on these I don't know what it is if it's a rabbit if it's a deer I have no idea but they're eating my plants and they need to stop anyway so it's a very beautiful morning and I'm actually waiting on Ryan because he's not a morning person so I had to pull him out of the bed uh, literally <laughs> because um, I don't want him to be late and he has a few other things to do before he goes to work, so. Off to the workout! <laughs> didn't want to participate in vlogging because like I said he's not a morning person but um, what I do this is our driveway stretch or street stretch and uh, if 
from here down to the end of our street is about 0.6 miles. So what I do is I do at least about two to three times um, of just brisk walking. I do add occasional jog, uh, and it's mainly from this heel up to the higher heel. Um, and a lot of people, you know, question that because I am pregnant. But however, you just have to read your body and make sure that you follow, you know, your symptoms, your pains. Um, if there are times that I'm not feeling up to par in regards to running, then I don't run. I just do a lot of walking. But here we go. Let's get on this journey. Let's burn some calories, baby. jog and then the rest of the stretch I just walk um, and then I walk back and sometimes I'll do a lot of leg work upper body strength so I'm not gaining weight anywhere else but my belly hopefully and then possibly my butt but I don't really need any more butt but Ryan does the jogging and he actually goes beyond our neighborhood to get about three to four miles so that's what we do and you know what since I actually been pregnant um, I actually feel a little bit more motivated to do a lot of walking because I used to always run and if I couldn't run then I didn't feel like I needed to do any kind of walking. So, there's Ryan. <laughs> Tell you he's not a morning person. <laughs> hey guys, you should look at this. Um, this, uh, I guess you would call her dough. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a female, but she's been sitting here since early morning since I had breakfast and it's already almost one So I think it's very interesting. I thought when I snapchatted I said that she might be pregnant. She looks pregnant and she's been sitting there for a while. So I'm gonna see if I can get a Close-up that she's gonna be staring at me I think she's eating but I think it's so cool. She probably feels safe at our yard because we actually have like a wooden fence. So you can't really see out. But I'm believing she is probably eating grass. But she's been sitting there seriously like for a couple of hours. And I'm trying to figure out if she's giving birth or if she's just resting. Uh, look at her eat. That's so cute. That would be a really big irony that she's pregnant and she's actually giving birth on our lawn. But our yard is actually kind of all leafy, so you can't really see much. But they do jump the fence. As you can see, that one's bent. But um, I don't know how she got in. Maybe she jumped over, but she's eating and staring at me. But I thought this was pretty cool. So if I see her give birth to a little baby, I'm definitely have to record it for you guys. Good morning everyone. It is bright and early today. I couldn't sleep today as of 5.30 a.m. So I was just laying in bed and um, trying to go to, to sleep, but couldn't do it. So I decided to go for a walk. Um, a lot of times that helps in the morning. And it's probably because the baby is preparing me for early wake-ups and uh, late night wake-ups. So 
I guess I don't mind it. At first I was a little bit frustrated, um, especially during the first trimester because it would just, I couldn't figure out my schedule, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't sleeping, so now that I am in the second trimester, um, for some reason I feel okay going to sleep late and waking up early because we went to sleep yesterday like at 2 and I woke up at 5.30. I mean, I don't feel bad. I don't feel like I didn't get enough sleep, but I just started feeling a little bloated. And a lot of times it could be from what I ate the night before. Thanks to my hubby, who made us some awesome American plove, as he calls it. He wanted some pasta, so <laughs> we were cooking late at night, but sometimes that's what you do. This is our quiet little neighborhood. I love walking in the mornings because it doesn't feel hot or muggy. You can breathe a lot better and there's nobody around, so I love that. Today is a fun-filled day with lots of stuff coming, so we'll definitely be vlogging today. Hopefully I can get Ryan in some of those shots because I know he's been not wanting to be on camera because he's not a morning person. But we'll try to do some more vlogging together, hopefully. What exit is it? This one. Hi everybody, Ryan is here finally. I know most of the vlogs that I did uh, for this week, I did it myself, but here's Ryan. Can you tell them where, where we're going? We're going to see whether we're having a baby boy or a baby girl. We're excited. Um, the baby, I guess, was excited because I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. And it could be partially Ryan's spaghetti, too. Late night spaghetti. It was good, but I think it was, it was heavy. <laughs> well. Something else. Well, we're so excited, and everybody's been speculating, of course, like they always do. A lot of people have said, girl, I've always thought I would have a boy first, but um, we're just we're just excited to have a healthy baby, and whatever the Lord blesses us with, we know we're supposed to have, of course. So it's going to be great. So there you have it. We're about to go to the doctors. We might record some of it, but we might just leave it for ourselves. But we'll keep you guys posted. Make sure that you guys are always uh, in touch with us through social media. We'll always be updating our pregnancy and what we're up to. Um, Ryan's Instagram, he does a lot of inspirational stuff and Facebook and website, Ryan Cole Empowerment. And then um, I do a lot of blogging and social media. So always stay tuned and also find me on snapchat because I, I do a lot of stories and it's really really fun throughout the day i don't post them anywhere else just snapchat um so it's it's a lot of fun i kind of give you a little bit of an inside look on some of the projects that i do and uh throughout the day what we eat and our exercise and what what we're doing and where we're going so make sure that you follow us on snapchat